all of you. I am very fortunate to be on this stage today, all because of Kiran, my family friend. And at the last moment when I got this invitation uh, from Kiran, I had to speak to Bala sir. He immediately, in spite of his busy schedule, he gave me chance and time what to talk. I regularly take classes for my students, but seeing the young minds and experienced people over here, I am really inspired also. Today I am here to talk about my life journey and career as well. I am Dr. Raja Rajeshwari Kamisetti. Did post graduation and doctoral studies from pharmaceutical sciences. I am a research scientist and I am an academician as well. I teach post graduation students uh, in pharmaceutical sciences, particularly for the way how dosage forms are developed. I think this subject is very new to you all, but I will make it clear and interesting also. I developed one drug delivery system for concentrating the main drug molecule without wasting the drug directly to the target area particularly for cardiovascular diseases. I concentrated on diabetes and hypertension, which are the root causes for many heart strokes, heart attacks as well. My main ambition was not to waste the drug because everyone knows paracetamol and many other drug molecules available in the market. But we happen to see on the label some 500 mg, 250 mg likewise. But not all this drug is available to the circulation to show the activity. So our team worked on this aspect and we happened to find out like 90% of the drug is able to be targeted for the diseases. And now uh, we moved on to the next level of working on cancer. I developed one exceptional formulation including both herbs and metals. It's simply called a herbometallic extract. I concentrated on colon cancer. Most of us do not know what is a cancer is until the later stages have arrived. But in the initial stages where no symptoms are seen, with the regular natural molecules available in our home, act as remedies to cure and to prevent the cancers. One of such molecule is quercetin. It is available in many, many fruits and vegetables. And this quercetin was selected. Routine also was one of the chemical component I selected. And with this combination, I targeted the cancers, particularly on the colon. Later on, I proved it in animal studies in the preclinical level and we are in, uh, in the movement to the next clinical trials as well. So with this uh, advancement and achievement, I got awarded last month uh, on October 16th by South Asian Institute of Research and Development as a research scholar and educator. Uh, and then, thank you. Before this, on Women's Day, I got nominated and awarded by uh, NFED Coimbatore as Senior Research Scholar and Educator. Education and teaching was always my passion, but research was the main push up my energy to move ahead. So I did not leave this research also. Even though I take classes for B Pharmacy, uh, post-graduation like M Pharmacy students, I even take classes for UGC, uh, research scholars, those who are pursuing their doctoral studies, particularly in research methodology, how to start, where to start and how we continue our research. If you have any doubts like this, this is because my first research work was a failure. When I uh, got like uh, admitted in uh, doctoral studies for uh, pharmaceutical sciences in Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Hyderabad. I started my work. 
with 56 formulation wasting so much of money on chemicals and reagents and my work was completely failure i was totally calm without doing any work for one month but we have very less time and we need to prove research is not just by like copying and pasting we have to do something innovative in that way i selected the other molecule which is very naturally available like gum all of you might be knowing some gums are available like xanthan gum was the selected compound for my work and astonishing i got very very successful formulations all 56 formulations whatever i did on cardiovascular diabetes and hypertension were successful with that i got a research grant and a conference grant uh, to present my poster in the pharmaceutical international federation which is the highest uh, conference that is held by netherlands that that year it happened to be held in hyderabad fortunately i got the complete 2 lakhs grant so with that i was that was a step where i took forward and then one more journey like this is all my research in my career but it is not always my uh, completeness so i i have a passion to teach also so once i got an opportunity from jntu hyderabad to take classes for phd scholars i was the youngest even compared to the scholars but uh, i was never back like i got this opportunity so i should utilize opportunities come rare handle with care this was all <laughs> said by my parents every time so i took this opportunity and i went forward luckily i got very good feedback in this aspect of research methodology i learned myself biostatistics and research methodology all the statistic models including anova chi square everything was learned by my even though i am not from math background so i am not at all from math background but in this stage i had to learn i got excelled i am now i was i am the one of the uh, like i cannot tell famous <laughs> i am one of the statisticians in hyderabad i will take classes for phd scholars also this is one more achievement thank you i even take classes for mba graduates particularly in six sigma modeling and all quality based designing and all uh, i'm not into hr and all but basically how the market research will be there and hospital tourism hospital marketing all these types of research uh, scholars come to me and they get some basic doubts cleared i am very happy for this and all these are achievements all positive still now but this journey is not so Uh, flowers uh, spread with flowers i had to step on to many thorns as well in this journey when i was admitted in my b pharmacy course first year i got married but i do not i do not know how to continue my education because pharmaceutical sciences is a uh, professional studies mixed with both technology and medical fields and i cannot uh, be at home because i should be in the college throughout and we have to uh, have some attendance percentages as well second year i proudly announced that when i was in b pharmacy second year i got delivered by uh, manasvi my daughter is here please come please come she is my uh, yes she is my golden angel every moment till now in my life uh, is like successful only because of her support when she was 6 months old i handed over my child to my mom and i had to go back to my education because i cannot study this as regular uh, regular mba or arts courses i need to be within the campus and before this when she was born also i studied my b pharmacy in sri vishnu college of pharmacy bhimavaram i always tell i am a proud student of svcp because 
Just before day, I did a practical exam on microbiology and the next day I got delivered. And within 11 days, I was back to college again. Nowhere my education stopped. I continued. Then again in 2003, I passed out. Again a question mark on my face. Whether to continue my education, I always had, a, uh, had in my mind that to pursue my MS in US, <laughs> everyone has this, most of them. But leaving my child, one year old child, where to go, how to go, who is going to look after her, all these questions uh, like reduced my passion and interest also. One year I was at home, but I was at home, that's all. I, every time education was my passion, I couldn't help me, myself. Then my husband, who is the pillar till now, he came forward and then if you wanted uh, to study, you can still. Again, I handed over my child to my mom and I went back to Tamil Nadu, I, where I did my master's, topper. Even in my B pharmacy, I got distinction, university topper, all the four years. And then, thank you. And then, I do not know what is a PhD. I got project in Dr. Reddy's laboratories in my second year of my post-graduation. When my father was ill, he was in ICU continuously for 40 days. And my exams were going on. I couldn't help myself again. I came back sitting beside my father in the ICU, sometimes near the bathroom, I had to write my records, prepare for my exams. And I had to beg someone else to stay for one or two days so that I can go to my college, present my review meetings and come back. Like this, I completed again with distinction. And then I got a project in Dr. Reddy's. My father got shifted from ICU Kakinada to NIMS, Hyderabad. For three months, he was in hospital. I don't know cooking because I was in education continuously. It doesn't mean that in education, we, do not, we should not know cooking. Now it is passion for many young generations. But at that time, I was the youngest daughter of my parents. I didn't go to kitchen at all. So I don't know how to put tea also. Then circumstances were so uh, pushing me to cook. I, ha I used to cook for my parents and then go back to the Redis laboratories, do my project, evening coming home, again put the carriage and take to the hospital. Again coming back by 11 o'clock. Early in the morning again, 3 o'clock I used to wake up. Then I got selected from a project students uh, for me in the formulation research and development, Dr. Redis laboratories. But the time schedule was so hectic, how can I spend my time with my parents and my child? Then I decided to come to this teaching profession. So that's the reason I, ha I am in the teaching profession. Then I got an opportunity in Andhra University for full-time doctoral research studies. But I am in Hyderabad. Full-time means I should be in Vishakapatnam. So I again rejected that offer. Same year, I got one more offer in JNTU Hyderabad. Out of 1800 admissions, like uh, applications, only 225 students got admitted. I am the 100th one. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, how to do research is not known to me. Uh, like, to whom to ask is also not known. So I started working on computer. I don't know what is a mail ID. My, one of my friend, B pharmacy classmate, she created Yahoo mail ID. Now I think Yahoo mail IDs are not there. Yes, Yahoo mail ID and I just know how to type something on Google toolbar and browse. But many, many pages used to be opened. We couldn't understand. I said everything. I depended on my mind, my knowledge. And with that, I selected this criteria. I worked on valsartan and lovastatin 
for obesity and cardiovascular diseases. Thereby, I also developed one hydrogel as a system. It is very fascinating, uh, my dear listeners. When a cut happens anywhere, with uh, not into the deeper levels of the tissues, we can spray this solution, it immediately gets solidified and an artificial skin will be formed. This is also called a skin grafting. We are working on patents on this. My team and myself are working on patents on this. Uh, thank you. So with this, uh, now I am also into the intellectual property rights. Some of my publications are available uh, on Google and all. I wrote a book exclusively on poorly soluble drugs, how to modify their properties. Like every time, many years ago, many drugs are coming to the market with no use. With the existing drugs, we can repurpose and we can use for good benefits. With this motto, I'm working on. And very recently, one of my paper got published on medical devices because post-COVID, all the medical devices are getting rejected. What exactly is the reason for these rejections? Maybe by the regulatory authorities, the fault is, or with the manufacturers. I gave some opinions. Uh, maybe in future, some of the young entrepreneurs can look after this and come out with positive results. This will be somehow an inspiration, I feel. One of my other publication is exclusively on clinical trials because we do not know what drug sh to, should be used during the time of pandemic. And then every doctor gave it trial only. If we are fortunate enough, we survived. Otherwise, it is left. Thank you. I'm also a teacher. Please give me one more minute. <laughs> like with this motivations myself, I am continuing my journey and every moment of my life is with the support of my husband. Every time I go low, yes, he's always beside me, within me, like you said. And uh, yes, my best part is my daughter, Manasvi. I welcome her because, please come. Manasvi, she's doing MBBS second year. Yes. Actually, we should not come here. Three days back, we lost our pet, German Shepherd. Just for her, I brought it, but we lost her. She's so uh, stressed and depressed. I thought some inspiration should come from this platform, and I immediately accepted this, and I wish you all got some inspiration. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, the Raw Stories, for giving me an opportunity to speak about my life journey, including my daughter and my husband, and yes, I think it's a part of the half brick. Thank you, Kiran. Thank you, Bala, sir. Thank you very much.